guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl b if you're a new subscriber welcome welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so in today's video guys i am going to be doing someone else's hair on my channel so i am going to be putting audrey's hair in two strand twists so when i shared on my instagram about you know almost about a month ago that i put my hair in two strand twists a lot of people you know were asking me for a tutorial but you know i hadn't filmed one when i did my own hair but audrey was like you know she would like to put her hair in two strand twists and she was cool with me filming it so here we are guys in this video i'm going to be showing you the technique or the method that I use step by step as well as showing you some of the products and some of the tools that I use and as per norm I will link them down below in the description box for you guys in case you guys want to check them out please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to comment down below please also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to turn on post notifications so you do not miss out on any of my latest videos guys also please don't skip ads and without further ado let's get into this video So I'm going to start by showing you guys the products that I'm using and in this wild growth bottle guys I have my mix of essential and carrier oils. I couldn't find any of my squeeze bottles so I decided to recycle that one because it was empty. And then the next product I'm going to be using is this olive oil moisturizer by Hollywood Beauty. I actually found this at the beauty supply on my last trip and so far I'm happy with it guys because it hasn't caused any buildup in my hair so that's why I'm using it today as well. And of course we need some rubber bands because that's what we are going to use to secure our two strand twists so that they do not unravel. I like to work row by row when I twist my locks because this ensures that you know I don't miss or leave any locks out while I'm twisting and off camera I already had you know hydrated Audrey's hair with some water so I'm gonna go in first with this olive oil moisturizer you know as per norm guys the technique or the way in which I moisturize my hair or anyone's hair that I ever deal with I always use water then I use a moisturizer and then I go in with the oils just to seal everything in so in this bottle there is some coconut oil some jamaican castor oil a little bit of jojoba and a bit of the diluted tea tree oil from hollywood beauty so now i'm just gonna rub you know all the products in and just make sure that i get the scalp and i also get you know the hair as well one other product that I'm going to be using today is the mango and lime locking gel. It doesn't cause any buildup and it's going to help these two strand twists last longer. When I start with doing the two strand twists, I am going to be palm rolling the individual locks or hand twisting them this is going to help ensure that the two strand twist lasts longer so i am going to be palm rolling towards the right because that is audrey's lock twisting pattern so i'm just going to quickly twist the individual locks and then after this we are going to start doing the two strand twist so the method that i use that i find helps the two strand twist last longer is if i go right over left while going right over left it's important to twist as well because that's going to you know create the tight hold and stop your locks from unraveling so it's just always going to be right over left twist or you can do right twist over left twist and you know you're just going to repeat this method all the way up until you get to the end until you need to use your rubber band to secure it i'm going to show you guys again i tried to go a little slow so i'm hoping it's slow enough for you guys you know to be able to see exactly what i'm doing so again i'm just going to put a little bit of the gel i'm not putting a crazy amount as well because with any product even if it's not supposed to cause buildup if you do put too much, it will result in buildup. So again, I'm going right over left. So right twist over left, right twist over left. And I'm just gonna repeat this 
all the way up until I get to the end. I try to kind of have the same type of grip or a similar hold so that it doesn't, you know, unravel or look tighter, you know, in the beginning and then loose at the ends. You know, I don't want it to look sloppy at all. So I try and keep a steady hand. Now I'm ready to start a new section, so I'm just going to take out all the locks that are in the same row. It kind of looks a little aggressive, guys, but that's only because I speed ramped this part, so you know, best believe I'm doing this very gently. And then from here on forth, guys, you know, the process doesn't really change. It's all going to be the same, you know, I'm always just going to section it out then go in you know with my moisturizer and then go in with my mix of essential and carrier oils i will admit that here guys i did make a mistake while filming i went in with my oil and then my moisturizer but you know i think i was just really tired and i was doing a lot all at once you know i was trying to focus on the filming and trying to do the twist so my bad guys Audrey hasn't had a retwist in over two months and you can clearly tell because there's a lot of growth. So I'm going to use the edge of a fine tooth comb to lightly separate the hair just so that, you know, the rows don't completely disappear and the locks are just kind of growing all over the place. I find that the two strand twists always look better if there's kind of like a grid or like a light box at the root. Again, I'm trying my best to do this, you know, without damaging the hair and I'm trying to do it very, very lightly. When I do separate it, I am trying to be gentle, but Audrey has a high pain tolerance, so she hasn't really complained about the sectioning. Again, once I'm done separating this, I'm going to palm roll them and then begin doing the two strand twist. So if you are someone who, if your lock twisting pattern is towards the left, you would probably have to go left over right. Please do comment down below if any of you do have a lock twisting pattern towards the left. And if you've tried this method or if you've ever like, you know, tried to do two strand twists, just let me know how that worked out for you. I won't lie, it can get a bit intense when it comes to the separating, so I do try to do it in smaller sections just so that I'm not causing Audrey any pain or causing any damage at the root. At this point, guys, I think I was about 45 minutes to an hour in. I think filming as well is what might have made it take, you know, a little bit longer. But guys, this is how it looks so far. And I am quite impressed. This is the first time that I do someone else's hair, but I am loving how it looks. It looks very uniform. It looks very neat, guys. Like, honestly, I'm so impressed with my work. Please comment down below and let me know what you think so far. Are you impressed too? If you are, please make sure to give it a thumbs up as well. So Audrey has been growing her locks for about five years, guys, and honestly, they are so beautiful. I initially thought she had maybe been growing them for about seven years because of how thick and long they are. Please comment down below if you can guess what her nationality is, guys. But this is the fourth time that I have been working with her locks, and it gets easier and easier every time. I won't lie, the growth can sometimes get out of hand, especially in front. And whenever you get a fresh retwist, you always want the front to kind of be sleek. But, you know, I no longer strive for perfection because striving for perfection damages the locks. So I do go in, you know, with my tool. I try to be gentle, but, you know, when I'm speed ramping it, it does look a lot harsher than it really is. You know, I just make sure that I separate it. I'm still maintaining my method of palm rolling towards the right. And then once I'm ready to begin the two strand twist, you know, you go right over left. If you happen to go left over right, it's going to be loose and then it's going to cause you to have some unraveling. This is my fourth time working with Audrey's hair, but my first time putting it in the two strand twists, as I had mentioned before. She used to crochet her hair, but you know, she realized that it was starting to make it 
thin and then that's when we came across each other i'm really glad that we bumped into each other because i get to see my skill level by practicing on someone else you know it's very easy to work on my own head because i'm comfortable you know with everything about it the way in which it grows and i understand the challenges but working with someone else's hair is where i can really tell you know if i'm good at what i do you know please comment down below and let me know what you guys think like how am i doing so far working with someone else's head is this like something you guys would like would you like me to you know show you guys every now and again like when i work you know on audrey's hair or if i ever work on someone else's hair you know please let me know i'd really like to hear your guys's thoughts but yeah guys at this point we have been twisting for about three hours guys like my hands are so sore and i'm so tired you know but we just keep going I think it's also taking so so long because you know as i said i think it's about two months now that i have not twisted audrey's hair so the fact that we have to do a retwist with this much growth and then put it in two strand twists i think is what's taking us a really really long time four hours and 15 minutes later guys we are finally done guys like Oh my gosh, this took forever, but I am so, so happy with the results, guys. Please look at the final outcome. Like, it is so neat. It is so uniform. Guys, please, like, nothing is unraveling at this point in time. Like, I am, I'm so impressed, guys, honestly, especially because this is the first time that I do these twists on someone else's hair off camera i'm gonna spray you know the length and moisturize it as well i just didn't film this part because my phone was about to die but thank you guys so so much for tuning into my video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up to comment down below and let me know what you guys think please also subscribe to my channel you know if this is the kind of content that you enjoy seeing and if you would like to see more of it you know please make sure you turn on post notifications so you do not miss out on any of my latest uploads thank you guys so so much for tuning into my video i will see you guys next time take care